Hey everybody, we're keeping the train going. It's episode two and we are cooking up a storm. One pot crock pot, no. How about instant pot? One stop crock pot, one stop instant pot cooking. One stop instant pot cooking, yeah, sure. Yeah, it has a little tone to it. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's episode number two and we're cooking up a storm. We're keeping the train going and tonight we're going to do a pasta dish. We're going to do everyone's favorite. I think it's everyone's favorite. It is spaghetti. Spaghetti. I almost said spaghetti. <laughs> so who? Spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti, whatever you want to say. It's a spaghetti, yeah? It's a All right. All right, so you know what? Again, we're doing this in the Instapot. So we did a little haul. We thought to ourselves, what do we like in our spaghetti? And we're keeping it kind of simple. You may want to put the same things in your spaghetti, but this is what we're putting in our spaghetti. And really quickly, we're gonna start with the onion. Yes. All right, so we're gonna put a quarter cup of onion. We're gonna slice it and dice it. We're gonna put in, I believe it's a tablespoon of the minced garlic. Minced garlic, mmm. Now, we normally cut up our raw garlic. This is the cheater garlic. But I figure, van life, we're probably going to keep the jar garlic. It goes a lot further. It's a lot cleaner. It's a lot easier to clean up. So there you go. Yeah. All right. So a quarter cup, again, of sliced and diced minced onion. About a tablespoon of garlic. And we're going to put about two tablespoons of your choice olive oil. There you go. Um, and what else are we going to put in? I think we're going to put in about what, a teaspoon of the salt of your choosing. And of course, what do we got here? We have the, we bought some Prego Spaghetti salt. roasted garlic and herb. Um, whatever you want to put in it, I think it's, what is this? This is what, 24 ounces? 24 ounces. And we're throwing the little Instapot cup, we're throwing two cups of water. Two cups of water in addition to the spaghetti sauce. Um, I want to throw in some bay leaves, usually like a crock pot, a uh, slow cooker. If you use bay leaves, it, it brings a very bold taste. Bold. So I'm, a bold taste, a real bold taste. But I'm hoping, even though we're only going to be cooking it for 10 minutes because it's a pressure cooker, I'm hoping some of this bay leaf will yield out that bold taste. What do you think? We'll see. It's a little bit. Of, it's a little bit of an experiment. Of course, we're gonna throw in a little uh, oregano. We looked for some fresh oregano, but you didn't find any, did you? No, there were not. There was none. At least in the store we looked, there was none. All right, and from there we are going to put in a what's that? A pound? Yes. Sixteen ounces of ground beef. You can use turkey. You can use whatever meat you like. But we're gonna go ahead and start off with our little experiment using ground beef. This particular one is what, 92% lean. Um, what you wanna do is when you're doing the meat, you wanna strain it if you like. We don't wanna leave too much grease in there because we wanna, we wanna taste the flavors. We wanna taste the oregano. Hopefully the bay leaf will come out in its boldness. 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 Now, with this particular recipe, uh, this is what, 16 ounces of spaghetti. And we're gonna use eight ounces, so we're gonna use exactly half of this bag. We're gonna break it in half, and we're just gonna toss it in there. Now, when all this is all cooking, and we're gonna show you really quickly how we're gonna do that, when we plate this, I'm gonna give you a little a little uh, sneak, well, not a sneak peek. How about a full peek? A full peek? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. When we plate the spaghetti, we're gonna take some of this uh, mozzarella, this mm, mozzarella, nice. and we're gonna sprinkle it on top, and it's just gonna melt. It's gonna melt. Melt in my mouth. Ooh, can't wait. All right, everybody, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna saute a few of these ingredients together. So obviously, you can do a little variation, whatever you like in your spaghetti, but this is what we like in our spaghetti. We're experimenting again with these bay leaves. We're hoping the boldness. Boldness. The boldness comes out. I'm hoping the boldness comes out for real because if you've ever done a slow cook sauce, like a spaghetti sauce in a crock pot for like, I don't know, 20 hours or 12 hours, it just makes a world of difference. So I'm kind of really hoping, I'm really crossing my fingers on this one, that these bay leaves are really gonna give it that kick. First thing we're gonna do is, hot. is we're gonna press that little saute button, which we already did. It's gonna pop up and say hot, which means it's ready to fly. 
So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put two tablespoons of olive oil, whatever brand you like, I don't know, but we're going to throw two tablespoons of just some generic olive oil in there. We're going to get that going. We're going to go ahead and throw in the, the onion and the garlic. That's a tablespoon of garlic. And you know, it, it did call for a quarter cup of onion, but I like an onion. I like an onion. So we put two quarter cups of onion. So there you go. Right? Yeah. And you're gently going to stir it slowly. And you're going to keep stirring it until the onions sort of soften up, if you will. We don't want to burn them. We don't want to reduce them down too much. But we're just going to gently stir those and soften up those onions. Get that garlic going. It's good already. It's smelling good already. How's it smelling? It smells delicious. It's smelling delicious. I'm like hungry. Now, if you can see inside there, we got the onion and that garlic. And man, did we put a little bit of garlic. Just a little bit. You know what I did? I put a tablespoon. I put a heaping tablespoon of garlic because I love garlic. But you know what I did? I took that little spoon and I got some of that garlic liquid, that garlic juice, if you will. And I just kind of threw it in there. So now remember, the Instapot is essentially a pressure cooker. We're using the saute function, again, to soften up those onions, get that garlic going, get it all mixed in with that olive oil. But then when it comes time, it's pressure cooker time. And we're gonna put it on ceiling. We're gonna throw it on for 10 minutes. So we've been sauteing these onions and garlic for what, about how long you think? Two minutes, three minutes? About maybe two, three minutes. And remember, it's a pressure cooker, so I think they're still a little crunchy. I think we're just gonna start throwing it together. Again, it's gonna soften them up in the pressure cooker function of it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in the meat. So we're gonna throw this meat in. And the idea here is we're gonna move the meat around, we're gonna chop it up a little bit, and we're gonna cook it until the pink of the meat is gone. That like five one and a half a full five one and a half i feel like i need a stepper to reach into <laughs> you want to stir the meat around you want to get that onion that that garlic and that olive oil and you want to kind of mix it all into the meat right now so we're going to go ahead and throw the salt in now it calls for a teaspoon of salt i think we're probably pretty safe in a teaspoon what do you think i sure hope so now we'll drink a lot of liquids salt. i think that's good yeah, that's, that's... A little extra garlic is always a good thing. And let me tell you, it smells like garlic up in here. But you know what? When we do van life, I'm thinking if we do these kind of recipes that require saute and the amount of steam and the amount of flavor just whoo, coming up out of that pot, I think we're going to have to utilize the plug-in on the outside of the van. Get us a little table. And cook outside. And cook outside. When it comes to seasonings, I'm all about liberality here. So just take off the little top, you know, and just start sprinkling a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, and bam, there you go. That was a lot. <laughs> that wasn't that much. Oh my God. It smells like Olive Garden. Can you smell what oh the Greg is goodness. cooking? Can you smell what the Greg is cooking? It's smelling like what? Olive Garden. Olive Garden? <laughs> See, like I said, a little extra oregano, a little extra garlic goes a long way. We're making spaghetti. Buzzgetti. The pink has gone out of the meat, as you can see. Now, we want to go ahead and start moving kind of quickly because we don't want to dehydrate this. We don't want too much to evaporate. It's very, very lean meat. There's no need to drain this. Plus, you know what? We got a lot of ingredients in there. We got a lot of blending. We got a lot of flavor going on. And we definitely don't want to lose any of it, right? So we're just going to keep all this in the pot like this. We're going to go manual mode. We're going to put it for 10 minutes because that's what we're going to cook this as. We're going to go ahead and throw in the sauce. Add two cups of water. So that little cup that comes with your Instapot, we're gonna do two cups of water. Take the bay leaves and we're gonna break them in half because we want to expose the edges. So we're hoping the boldness comes out. 16 ounce bag, we're gonna take eight ounces, which is exactly half, and we're gonna break it in half. You wanna break it in thirds, just do what you wanna do, but we're gonna break ours in half. <laughs> there it is. 
The noodles are submerged in the sauce. Again, you don't want to stir it. You just want to sort of pat it down, get it in the sauce. We're going to throw the lid on. We're going to twist the lid on. We're going to make sure it's on ceiling. It's already on. So now what's going to happen is it's going to start to boil. The steam is going to start to evaporate. And again, like I said on episode one, that little thingamajiggy, that little pin's going to pop straight up and then it's gonna seal. And once it seals and gets up to pressure, that's when the timer starts. This is what it looks like when it's steaming. As you can see, the steam is just rising crazily out of the Instapot. Now what's gonna happen again, like I said before, it's gonna come to pressure. And as soon as it does, that little thingamajigger, it just did it. Do you see it? It just did it. It ain't steaming no more. See that? Look, no more steam. Boom, it's sealed. You know what that means? That means it's coming to pressure. And you know what that means? That means as soon as it comes to pressure, that little 10 minutes that we hit on there, it's gonna start the ticker. Now, unlike the first episode where we did a slow release, this particular recipe that we're doing is gonna be a quick release. We're gonna move this little lever from ceiling. You can either go to the right or you can go to the left and that's called venting. So you have ceiling and you go this way venting or that way venting and technically you can even actually just kind of press this lever down or press it up but here's the deal and this is a safety tip do not do not vent with your hands near the vent that is hot boiling steam you will actually burn yourself now what i'm thinking though is what i'm thinking are you thinking what i'm thinking because if you're thinking what i'm thinking we got a lot of red sauce in this thing and if we go to vent this thing it may bubble up some uh, red sauce. So I think we're gonna throw a towel or a paper towel on top of this. So when we vent it, if it does bubble or if it does go and all the red stuff starts flying everywhere, we won't make a mess. It's what do you think? It's gonna be the paper towel because you're not gonna do it on my nice brand new Dollar Tree towels. Nuh-uh, no you're not. <laughs> I will be using a paper towel. We're down to one minute. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. We're down to one minute. We're down to one minute. Damn. Bam! We're gonna do the quick release. Woo! Well, I don't think it's blown any red, is it? Looks no. like it's just water. It's just water. I think we're good. We, we were safe. We were afraid it was going to blow maybe some tomato uh, sauce and just blow it to like the ceiling. Salsa fest up in here. The little pin went down. It's time for the reveal. You ready? Three, two. I'm nervous. <gasps> wow. Look at that. Look at that. A lot of sauce, a lot of flavor. Mmm, if you guys could smell this right now, oh my goodness. We're gonna mix in all the sauce with the spaghetti. Everybody, we're back we just got done eating the spaghetti and uh, wow what do you think I was good it was delicious and needed more what would you do differently I would add a little more water to it definitely what I'm thinking is this I like my food wet and I like it hot so for me spaghetti or any kind of pasta it's got to have some type of liquid element spaghetti was well coated it was wet, but it didn't have that that liquid salt. I think we would add a cup of water. So instead of two cups of water, I think we're gonna add three cups of water. The reason is the noodles themselves absorbed a lot of liquid. You have the steam itself that, that runs out while it's uh, coming to pressure. Mm -hmm. And then you got the steam that's releasing when you know it's done cooking. So you're losing a lot of, a lot of moisture there. Mm -hmm. So I think three cups of water maybe might do the trick. Yeah. I'm even thinking maybe a small can of tomato paste too. Yeah, and I mean maybe just to give it a little bit more viscosity. Taste-wise, 
It was good. It was tasty. Uh, hey, you can tell by our plates. Absolutely. Pretty empty over Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Pretty empty. Now, the bay leaf, I was hoping the bay leaf was going to bring that boldness. Again, that's more of a slow cooker type of an effect. Uh, when you use a bay leaf, there's just that bold taste that really kind of undertones the sauce, if you will, like a real Italian sauce. I didn't necessarily taste that. I think, you know, it's 10 minutes. 10 minutes is 10 minutes. You, you're only going to yield so much flavor in 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think, I, I think I'm becoming a little Italian since I had a little spaghetti. Maybe I had a little too much of mozzarella. I don't know, but it was very good. No molto italiano. Well, you know. So anyways, <laughs> I think everything was good. It was definitely edible. And you know what? A good telltale sign is that we had seconds. We had seconds. So that tells us, you know. Why would you give that information? It was pretty good, right? We had seconds. <laughs> so if you know if you're having seconds, it's pretty good food. So we had seconds, we admit, you know. Uh, and with that said, I think that pretty much concludes episode number two. Yep. Spaghetti in the Instapot with the little mozzarella at the end. Right? Yep. Now to plan on Instapot meal number three. We're going to work on episode number three. And in the meantime, please leave your comments, subscribe, hit that little bell. We want to continue this conversation on the spaghetti. Uh, do your experiments. Leave some tips and tricks for us, too, so we can sort of see what's going on in your place. Right? Yeah. Join us so we can keep getting fat. So we can start getting fat. We're going to keep getting fat with this Instapot. No, 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 no. <laughs> next time, I think, I think next time we're going to try uh, turkey. Turkey. Something healthy. Something a little bit more healthier. <laughs> we want to go with a conventional meat, see how it sort of works out, see how it sort of tastes. That's how we grew up, you know, ground beef, you know, it's meat. We did lean, though, so it wasn't greasy. Yeah, it was uh, very lean. And we didn't strain it, so it was very lean. It, it was 92% lean. Yeah, and it didn't taste greasy at all, right? Nope. No, it was actually pretty pretty light in that. Any last words? Time to digest, people. <laughs> it's time all to right, digest. that's a wrap. We'll catch you guys later. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you on episode number three. Bye. Bye.